this time of year, it's a good time to check your foundation as the weather's a little bit drier and we're not getting as much precipitation. What you're gonna wanna look for uh, with Kansas, there's a lot in Missouri, there's a lot of clay in the ground and that helps support your foundation wall. So what you're actually looking for is seeing if that there's that separation. And a lot of people have this misconception where you actually water your trees and that's gonna protect your foundation. Well, that's actually partially true. You actually want to water both your foundation and your trees because that will actually help keep that clay moist and keep that clay up against the foundation wall. If you do come across where the clay and the dirt is starting to pull away from your foundation, the last thing you wanna do is actually add soil or sand or anything there because inevitably it is gonna get wet again and it's going to expand and what that can actually do is put pressure on your foundation and cause cracking and, and other issues. Now there is a fine line when we say watering foundations. What you don't wanna do is, is put so much water on it to the point where you end up having to call us for a water issue that is leaking in the house. So uh, there is a fine, fine line, you do need to keep an eye on it, but putting some water on your foundation and watering your trees at the same time that are around your home is gonna help protect your, your foundation and uh, protect from having issues in the future.